Welcome to day eight, design with Elementor. In this lesson, we're going to briefly discuss what Elementor is, and I'm going to show you how to design your website pages with Elementor. Elementor is a secret to a beautiful WordPress website. I was thinking of a simple way to pass the message across that Elementor is so powerful and one of the most easy to use page builders you have for your WordPress. According to Upspot, Elementor is a drag and drop page builder for WordPress. This plugin helps you create beautiful pages using a visual editor. It's designed for you to build a dynamic website quickly. This WordPress plugin is an all-in-one solution, letting you control every part of your website design in a single platform. You can customize your website to fit your brand with motion effects, multiple fonts, and enhanced background images. Let's get into the practical class where I show you how to design with Elementor. I'm going to start by logging in to my dashboard. So now that we are in my dashboard, I want you to know that you can use Elementor to actually design your post and at the same time design your pages. But let's design our pages. Let's go to all pages here. And let's start with the about. Let's start with about. I'm just going to come in and click on edit. So we are here. So instead of using the normal, the default browser here, I'm just going to switch. We're going to switch to edit with Elementor. We're going to click on this and you'll see the interface itself is going to change. Although we'll still have all our settings and everything in the new interface. So let's get started told you this is the page builder that came with the theme so but we installed the Elementor plugin and that's what we want to use. We're going to click on the digital Elementor. So this is what our Elementor interface looks like. This section of our interface is where we'll be seeing our design in real life. Whatever we are doing this is where we're going to be seeing it in real life. But quickly I want to show you this panel. This is where you'll be adjusting your elements. I can come here, click on settings. And from this settings, I can change the title of my page. I can add the featured image for my page. I can switch from pub published to drafts, private or whatsoever. All the same settings that we have with the normal editor. And I can decide what the page layout should look like. So we have page builder full width. We have the defaults. We have elemental canvas. I think one of the interesting ones here is elemental canvas with elemental canvas you're going to lose the structure of your initial um, website the structure that came with the with the with the theme you're using this particular idea of having our logo here our menu displayed like this you're going to lose that it's going to be like a full page of elemental so once i click that you'll see so it's like having me a full canvas where I can just design everything from scratch without even making it seem like I'm following a particular guide of the website structure. But I'm going to switch back to the page builder for which we are because I want, of course, I like the layout like this. So then down here, you can come here to actually switch the view and click on this, this responsive mode click on this, this is our desktop view right here. I can switch to tablet view, this is how my website is going to be displayed on tablet. And you see, see exactly how it's going to function on tablet. Then I can switch to mobile. This is how my website is going to look on mobile. See, so by the time we have all our contents here, we can also preview exactly how it's going to, to be on different devices. So let's go back to the desktop view for now. So right here, I have some basic, I have basic and I have pro items that I can add. I have basic and I have pro items. The pro items are for premium subscribers, elemental premium subscribers. You have a whole lot of things you can do here. You can add posts, add portfolio, add forms, add slides, you know, animated headlines, 
these are really really cute cool features but it's for pro subscribers see flip box countdown share button so elementor is an all-in-one package it comes really it comes readily prepared to actually help you create amazing websites see facebook page anything all these you can do with your pro but at the same time you have the general see stars so all you need to do when it comes to elementor is just click drag but before we do that we, can, we need to create sections for our page so i'm going to click on this add new section and i can decide the structure of the section i want do i want it to be a full length column or do i want it to be a two column way or three column or even five or even six or i want a mini column by the right another mini column by the left and a white column in the center something like this so i can check through all this and decide which one i want so i'm just going to click so i'm just going to select this so i have the column here so Whenever I select an item here, I can always go back here into this particular area and edit it. So for this particular column that I just created, you can see I have the content with the, the column gap, the height, everything. I can adjust the structure. I can switch the structure again. See, and styles is majorly where you're going to edit the colors, add images. I can add image to this particular background now add image add gradients see we we'll click on this we're able to add gradient so let's try that i want my gradient to be from blue to red and let's make it from gray to black yeah Maybe from gray, lighter gray, yeah. So you see, I have my gradient here already. Location, adjust, just like normal designing. And location, angle, background overlay. I can overlay my background with image or with anything, see. So perhaps I could also come here, this background here, I could come here, Add image. Add an image. Let me choose one image. Let's say this image. So I have my image here now. But I can see it because there's not much content here. So I can overlay the image with a gradient now. So I want to overlay that image with its gray to black gradient that we created. So go back into the background. I want to I want to now add some other content. So to add other content, I click on this icon here. It takes me back to where I have all my other content. So I have basic. Basic are the features that are available for you to click and drag as a free user. So I can add headlines, just click and drag and say, let's say, uh, no. I can add, see, I can, I can make it a link by adding a link here. I can change the heading type, probably H2 to H3, H5, whatever. The size, I can make it larger or let me switch to medium alignment center everything once you select an item then come here to edit it and styles i told you that's what you have to do with color let's say i want this to be green instead of blue and i can change anything about the typography see the size see and as, as you can see as, as i'm increasing it i'm actually seeing the background image i added there that i overlaid with the gradients so let me go back and add, let's say, inner section. And add inner section here. Yeah. Probably I have, see, I have two inner sections. And go back again. Probably I want to add image to this side. So yeah, just click, drag and drop and choose my image here. Yeah. 
Now, there we go. You can see, I'm seeing this in real life. And I can start seeing more of the image I have at the background. So perhaps if I want to change the background image, I can just select the main container, go back to styles, then go back to styles and probably change the alignment or the size of the image. I want it to be contained. Can you see now? The background image is contained. You can see more of it here. Then let me go back again. So perhaps I want to add a button to the bottom of this image. I'll just click and drag and add my button here. I'll and align it to the center. I can, this is where I'm going to enter the link I want the button to link to. And I can change the text of the button here. Let's say, probably start now. See? So, I can add an icon. We add icons see, we have a list of icons here. So, let me put the forward arrow. I have my icon there. Then I can go into styles. I can go into styles here okay. and change the typography. I want us to be saying this. Change the typography, add text shadow. See, I don't know if you can notice that. You see, there's a little bit of shadow. So I can change the color of my button. See, I can change the text color here. Yeah? If I click on this, I can change the text color. Let's say to blue, light blue, black, and then probably change the background color to let's say white. You see? You're seeing what you're doing in real life and all you have to do is just drag and drop. That's all. So I can change the border type probably um i always like this groove let's use groove or let's try double then this double i want this to i don't want us to have sharp edges i can come into border radius and just increase that So, uh, see, I'm increasing one side. Let's increase it by, let's say, 30 30 on all sides. See, that's 30. See, and <laughs> so you can actually come up with any shape you want. Like, uh, this is like 30 there. I can come here and make it 30 also. You see, now I have one interesting. Make this text here also. See, now I have one interesting looking button. What else can we add? See, okay, video. Just click and drag, drop the video here. You see, there we go. So, for the video, you're going to come in here. Once you select the video from here, you can come in here to change the settings. So, probably I could, you can change the source. So probably um, Vimeo self-hosted. Self-hosted means you're actually going to select the video file yourself. But most times, you can want to integrate videos you have on YouTube already, you'll switch to YouTube as a source, then copy the link of the video and paste here. All right? So the other settings you can do, probably set the start time, end time, loop it, put it on autoplay, like a whole lot of, settings that actually give you control of how you want everything to be on your website so and inside the advanced settings is where we have the motion so this is where you can actually add animation let's say for instance this phone you can go and select the phone now you can see i'm switching from as i'm, I'm not, as i'm switching from video to phone so as I'm switching from the items I'm selecting here, this particular settings here is changing. So I'm selecting this section again, I'm having different settings here related to this particular section. 
you know selecting the video i'll be having everything related to the video here you can see so i'm selecting the phone now and i'm going to advance and i could actually add motions so see we have some default motions there so let's look for something interesting okay attention seekers so i want my phone to actually shake how about that so people are visiting your website and you see this image shaking. Let's say this button, for instance, also, I want to add animation to it. I select the button, go to advance, find my motion effect, and let's go to one of the attention seekers. Okay, and um, yeah, and I want to use Jello. So, so that's how my button is going to behave on my website. Let's go back and see what we can add. So other thing on the basic, we have dividers. That's if you want to divide between two sections and you have spacers, I can add space here. So it keeps space between this element and this element. And I can control the space see, just by dragging this. And what can we add? Then we have icons. I can add icons. See, go into here, go to my icon library, change the icon, you see? So, you can be as creative as you want to be, that's it. Then let's go back again, one other thing, we can add Google Map. So this is particularly good for when you want to add location. So just click on the map, drag and drop, then you'll be able to select it type in the location you want here and automatically the location is going to show on the map. See, so we have London Eye, London United, that is showing on the map. So in case you want to add this to your contact page, just click select and bam. People can be directed. You can zoom it here, change the height. You can see, very, very flexible. So that's just like the basics of how to navigate Elementor and don't forget we have the tablet view see we have the mobile view also so you can see how everything we've done so far is on our website so this is our about page i wrote a brief description about my skills challenge so i'm going to take all this out and i'm going to teach you another trick that's easier so instead of having to create sections and dragging and dropping designing from scratch you can actually come here we have tons of templates that element already designed for its users most of it are pro though but at least you still have some free and cool sections that you can add to your website so i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to go click on this add template and if i'm a new user i'll actually need to get started here so see we have pages we have pages that are already designed for us so all you have to do is just preview and insert like ready made pages preview see this is a page itself you can see this is what the page looks like. So you just that's a very simple, sleek, nice. You edit the content to fit your branding, change the colors. Now that you know how to change colors, add animations, then click on insert. And that's all. Let's go back to library. Let's view another one. So for there are a lot, some that are pro that you can actually use anyone you see PR role, it's pro. Let's check one of the pro. Let's preview one of the pro. Then I'm going to show you something else. So let's filter. You can actually feel that through. Yeah. See new. You can use this to filter them. Trend. You can see the ones that are trending right now. And popular. The most popular ones. You can filter through them also. So let's from our trends and let's check the pro trends so let's try this let's preview this so we see we can insert this 
because it's pro multimedia. So this is nice. Let's look at what this looks like. See? See? Ho ho ho. Don't miss it. See? Very sweet and the animations is great. Everything just it feels like everything has a life of its own. See? So we're going to go back to library. So we're just going to click install. I mean, you're just going to click and insert, view and insert. Then also we have the blocks library. So these are not full pages. They're just like sections, sections that you can add to the website, see? And for this, you can actually filter by category. So let's say um, I want a section for contacts. See, these are contact sections that are already created, looking nice, see? Get in touch, get in touch. All you need to do is just change the settings to suit yourself. See? Look at this. So we have the pro and we have the free ones. Then you can check for probably portfolio. You want a section to showcase your portfolio. See? Check out our work. You can preview. This is what this particular portfolio looks like. Let's check another one. Let's check another. So let's go back. Let's go to our category and see. Before that, let me quickly show you the footer category also. See, we have a lot of footer. Though I think most of them are pros. So. The footer is the down part of your website, the header is the topmost part, and the body is what we have in the middle. So, my favorite part is this hero. This category is very interesting, see? So, you can actually decide to use this category, this section to write our about page. See? Portfolio, pricing, active product, single page, Let's see what we have on single page. Okay, I think it's all pro. Please, if you can afford it, please just try get the Elementor Pro. You have a lot of features. So subscribe, team, testimonial, services. Let's go back. So let me go back to pages. I'm going to insert a full page and I'm going to delete other sections I don't want from it. Okay, let's see what this is like. I just need a section where I can write about us. Okay, something like this. So this is a full page. So if you're feeling lazy, you can just go to your landing page, your own page, and just insert this single page, change the pictures, change the write-up, and there you go, you have a website. So I'm going to go back. I'm still, I can't find what I'm looking for yet. I think this is looking more like what I want. This part, just this section. Let's see if I have a plan it here. See, I can just We'll start this as a whole page, change the settings, and that's all. Add animations if I want to, and a whole lot of other things. Um, let's go back to my blocks. And let's see the call to action. No, I don't want this. Let's see if I can get something in the about. So I guess I'll just have to go with something like this or something like this. Yeah, I will go with this. Going to click review, and I'm going to click and then check it. Yeah, this is not bad. And I'm going to click on search. So back to my editor so i can change this image well 
you can change this image and this text about my skills challenge then change this text put in what I have prepared there okay. let me see how it's going to look here this particular place so you can just select this button or click on this edit icon and you can come in here change I'm still not getting what I actually want so let's do this Let me check out this section. So we can delete this section. Then I want this section. I want to drag this section here. So yes, I have this section here. I can switch, bring this here. So The skill challenge is a daily challenge marketplace for individuals who want to improve their lives, blah, 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 yidi, yidi, yada. And that's we go. So this other side, what can I add? Let me find something to write here. Or I could just put an image here or an icon or a video. Go back, add anything here. So, since we're writing about us, let me write something. Let me just put an image there. Put an image here, then delete this section. All right. So, click on this. I can choose the image I want. can also adjust the size from here and I can adjust it from here, make it a little bit smaller. So this is it about my skills challenge. And I might want to add a button right here. Right here and say, for instance, Let's say I want to link this to the to the home page. No. So let's say I want to link this to this page here, take a challenge. So and just click here. So I'll start typing take. See, uh, my page comes up, take a challenge, and that, page, that button will automatically link there. So I want to change, I want to change some things about the image. So I'm just going to go up and go to my styles. Um, typography is okay. I want to be saying it's typography is okay. The text colors and shadows. Okay, let's change text color to white and have the background be black. Then I want to add border radius. So on all sides, I want it to be perfectly over there. This is more like the bottom line. Point. So that's my about page. Simple, sleek. If I want to add another widget, I could just come here, click add another session, like we discussed earlier, or just go in here and add a template that's already prepared. So let's say I want to install this. See, I got my skills challenge. So join over a million people. So we're not done with my button. So this is 
join one million people. Yep. So then um, I want to change the bottom text here. So I want you to read um, when the challenge. Um, then I want to animate it. So I'm just going to add something. Let's see, head shape. That's nice. What about um, swing? Good. There we go. So I'm going to update. Click on update. And I have my pretty interesting page about my skills challenge. So let's see how that looks like in real life. And let's see how that looks like on our mobile. See? And let's see how that looks like on desktop. Not bad. Then, so let's go back to mobile. I don't like how this find a challenge is so close to this. So I want to add a spacer. Okay, put my spacer here. Is that okay? Or let me use a divider instead. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Then I can adjust. I can adjust the width of the divider. Then also go into something like advanced. Change, add some effects to it. Probably I want it to fade in from the left. Yep. Or rotating you see or act like a rubber band yep then i still want to add spacer just a little bit here so let's see actually there's no need for this image but it just makes a good design let's see how that looks on a tab Okay, that's how it looks on a tablet. Not bad, right? Then on a desktop, this is how it looks on a desktop. Find the challenge. Let's update that. So let's view our page live. Let's just open another link and see what our about page looks like. So this is what our about page looks like. See? And see that and that's how simple it is to create your pages so I'm going to go back into Elementor and I'm going to come here and click on this icon I can set my default colors here also probably I want my default color primary color you no know, text I want my text to be gray I want my accent to be green. You can, you can select a color palette that aligns with your branding options here. See? Then, this is how the settings you can actually just play with. So I'm going to go back to classic and just leave it at the default white. Because white is clean and nice. You can set your default typography default buttons and so that whenever you add buttons any other place it's going to be the default button you've already set here then you can have form fields as if you are using pro you can have form fields create form fields and custom SSS you don't need to go into this because we're not writing any code at all and so basically that's just it you can set your themes I'll just start So you can come into global setting, dashboard setting about Elementor to find more. Then view page. You can view your page. See, this is what we have. 
is nice. So I'm back to my all pages. So the contact page, we already set that up. Let's see how that looks like in real life, actually. This is our about page. And let's see our contact page. This is not bad also. This is not bad also. Then our take a challenge page. Okay. So let's just create one challenge here. And we're good to go. So let's go into this, click on take a challenge. I'm going to make this really quick. One key thing, don't forget to actually set up your meta descriptions and everything for your SEO. It's very important. Take note of that. So I'm going to click in, go into Elementor again. I'm going to, and I'm going to quickly set up um, a challenge. We have just one challenge right now, which is the web design challenge in 10 days. So I want to set up something related to that. So probably not to waste time, I'm just going to go into portfolio, find um, blocks, find blocks and find, um, so let's check features if we have something. Okay, yeah, let's try this particular one. See, insert. Okay. So let's say ten days. Okay. Nine. Challenge and I'm going to change this to H2 or centralize it. And at the same time, I want to go into typography and reduce the weight to 500 and also reduce the size. So let me leave the weight at 600 and reduce the size. Then come here and tell you that it's actually 10, 10 days. I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to duplicate this. I want to tell you everything cool about the particular design. So it's in 10 days. So 10 days, I don't, the, the distance between this and this and this is too much. So I'm going to edit, going to advance and change the pattern, reduce it, reduce the pattern to, yeah, that's okay. Let's leave it at zero. So I'm going to change 10 days then complete. Okay, no coding. I'm going to duplicate this again. Flexible and portable. Let's duplicate this again. Theory and Practical, practical lessons. And probably duplicate this again and say three one months consultation. Then I'm going to duplicate again and say start. Day, day, 
more um, I need to delete this. So I can write other cool stuff about this particular challenge. So in fact, I want this image to be here and I want to I want this section to be up here. So in fact, I want this section to be here. Yes, and I want this to come up here. And I want this to come up here. And make it In days, a design challenge. So you have all the features here. Ten days, no coding, flexible and affordable, urgent practical, free one month consultation, start today, pay tomorrow. And I'm going to come down here and add a button. So I'm going to come here and add a button. Okay, I want to the button to link to web design dot my skills challenge. I want to centralize it and I want it to be of medium size. Start challenge and I want to change the background color to black. Yeah, and I want to have it round yes and i want to add animation to it also oh do we like that yeah let's try that so there we go we have one challenge set up so we can change the image here well, I think I'll just leave it at this and save. So we have our first challenge set up. There will be other challenge. There will be other challenges. So let's see how that looks like in real life. Or well, let's check our mobile and tablet view first. This is our tablet view. Not bad. This is our mobile view. Not bad for starters also. So I can actually still go. I can go into this, probably remove the icon, select this. You see, icon, icon library. Change the icon entirely or remove the icon entirely. Just play with all these. Click on update and in real life, let's see how that is like. So in real life, this is what we have, you see? We have one challenge set up. So I want you to go back to your dashboard, select all pages, go to your own page. And based on what I've taught you so far, I want you to design your web page from scratch or insert a full page and edit it using Elementor. Best of luck with that. I want you to engage yourself. I want to see your creativity at work. I want to see what you can do. 
And once we're done, you can email me, probably comment on this video and sh share me a link to your website so that I can assess and see what you've done so far and also offer my recommendations. That, uh, and I'll be here to actually walk you through anywhere you're having challenges. Welcome back from the practical class. I believe you're as excited as I am right now. Designing with Elementor just makes everything about building a website easy. From pages to the animations, a whole lot, it just makes everything as easy as dragging and dropping without even considering any form of code. I believe I can congratulate you now for learning, for successfully learning how to design your own website with WordPress. And tomorrow, day nine, I'm going to give you a brief walk around of your WordPress dashboard menus. We're going to explore our dashboard and see other menus we might have not touched during the training so that you can get a brief overview of what each of this menu does from your dashboard. So I'll see you tomorrow when we'll be having a thought of our WordPress dashboard menu.